Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have this battery it's a it's from a drill or a, another power tool and it's a Metabo and this is a 5.2 amp hour battery that's a lot I looked this up this was very expensive it was like hundred and fifty dollars here in Denmark it might be different other places and um, you got a discount if you got um, if you if you bought three of them and a charger but they are bloody expensive I got the battery because it's broken somebody thought that I could use the lithium ion cells I think we'll try and fix it first if we can um, and if I can I'll try and find someone who has this kind of tool and uh, make someone really happy if I'm able to fix it uh, when you press the power button around the back here it um, it lights up weirdly so I don't know if it's a bad LED uh, my problem is that I don't have a charger for it either so we would have to charge it up using the leads let's open up and see if we can find anything interesting in it and by interesting I of course mean something that we can fix it has four screws in the back here one of them is covered up by a piece of plastic that they put down here to prevent me from going in here so we're gonna find a drill bit and we're gonna make the tiniest little hole in that plastic just just get rid of that plastic thing a uh, drill bit let's see what we have this one looks sharp uh, yeah, I use Ryobi tools. Um, I'm not as professional as this Mitabo. Um, Mitabo? Mitabo? I have no idea. So let's get rid of this plastic thing. Uh, zoom in on that. Yeah, cool. Let's see if that's in view right around there. Yep. Are we able to take that out? Yeah, plastic came out. So just something to prevent us to do what <clears throat> we're about to do. And there is a nice little chalk down there. So now we have four screws that are available for disassemble. Looks like a very nice pack here. Very easy to. Oh, there is some rubbery material here too. I'm sure it's some kind of noise redundance. So it has been sitting one way. We're gonna put it the other way. So it's it's gonna be doing noise redundance once again. Uh, this drill has seen some action. Even dust has come into the into the battery. So what could be wrong here? It could of course be one of the cells that are bad, has gotten undercharged. Uh, so we will probably, let's start by measuring some of that. Okay, we get some voltages here. We have some ground minus plus D and plus. Okay, hmm. So on the side of the batteries, there is this piece of cardboard here that is here to protect. So you don't drop something and short circuit everything. Uh, together with some leads, that's for the BMS. And there is a, there is a piece of electronic beneath this uh, PCB here. Uh, very hard to see. There might not be that much electronic here. It looks like that much of the charging has been put off to to something else. It might just be a circuit that tells you how much voltage is left on this. Uh, so that's a good thing for repairing it. There, if there was a almost a computer here, it would be harder. Now that there is just uh, well batteries. It, it should be a smaller problem if something is wrong. Um, I don't think they're easy to take apart. But I have some pointy things here for my multimeter. And I think that is going to be able to poke through the carbon. 
So we're gonna set this to voltage and go a little bit to the side here. Use the screwdriver to get a good angle. Mm. There, way better. So let's see what we get here. Just take one cell at a time. 3.7 volts, that's good. Of course, is everything else is at 4 point something, that's 3.7. Three point seven, very good. Three point seven. Three point seven. Three point seven. Also three point the need. 3.7 so All the cells comes out at a good charge mm. So could it just be an LED that is bad or something? Is it possible to take this piece of electronic up? Looks like it. Not really. It's not that easy to take off, is it? Looks like there are leads going that are soldered directly onto this PCB. So, okay. But it's not as if anything bad. If there is anything really bad. Let's see if we can see the 18 volts anywhere. Like on the plus and minus here. Let's see, that could be minus. Nothing there. Ground and plus. Nothing. Okay, we have minus 18.51 volts between plus and ground. Is that the same as minus? Nope. So, wonder if I got this battery just because there's a bad LED. And it doesn't sh have no idea. Hmm. So there might not be anything wrong with this. That's a bloody shame. Um, well, it's, it's cool. To have a good battery but as I don't have a drill for it well I need to find someone that would uh, make good use of this and they are, they are very expensive okay uh, camera needed a bit of a recharge in the meanwhile I went up and I washed uh, the battery things here I even oh there's still a bit of water inside of that Okay, let's not do that again, so... And he did. Okay, so I even washed this thing. Um, and I uh, dried it up with the air compressor. And uh, now it works. So, apparently it just needed a bit of washing and then uh, everything is back to normal. And it shows that the battery is this much charged. So let's put it back together. Um, I, I, I just washed it for to get the dirt out of it, but well, that happened too. Oh, I forgot something. Forgot these noise reduction, reducing clamps here.
Well, as much as I would love to make a brilliant repair in every single video, well, this one wasn't really that broken. Um, and now it works just fine. It um, only shows one bar of battery right now, but I think it's fine. The batteries inside seems fine. If something was wrong with the, a pair of the batteries, um, this is an 18 volt battery. So how they do that is that the lithium ion cells, they are each 3.6 volts. Uh, they go from about 3 volts when they're all the way discharged up to 4.2 volts when they're fully charged. A uh, battery like this would probably not take them all the way up there. It would stop somewhere to keep a safe margin. Um, but by putting five of those batteries in series, you get up to just above 18 volts and even higher when it's fully charged. So, and fully discharged is of course it's closer to 15 volts. So it, it, it goes up and down uh, on each side of these 18 volts that the battery is rated for. So yeah, I have to go and find someone that will um, that has one of these Mitabo uh, tools that can use this really awesome battery. It has a good capacity and works perfectly fine. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do remember to give this video a like. If you, well, if you have a metable tool, remember to like that. <laughs> so do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.